Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Eric and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I store and how I transport my new Tohatu 9.8 horsepower upward. Let's get to it. Now this video comes as a suggestion from a viewer, he wanted me to show him how I actually store and transport my new outboard. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Right now I currently have it on my, uh, an outboard stand. I'll put some links below for several of them because you know everybody's got a different taste for a different outboard, different stand. So. I put plane down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, bring it in our car. Go ahead and take it. Okay, so right now I got the outboard right here, right next to the door, next to my, this is a Prius by the way, the rear door. I put the, um, the seats down. And what I'm gonna show you is, you know, how I handle it, how I pick it up you know a few tips and tricks how to do it i'm gonna first show you guys how i personally do it with my car the person who suggested this video actually has a sedan there's a few choices you can go for that so let me go over that but right now let me show you how i do mine okay so right now i got the bracket loosened up a few specs this motor is about 84 pounds heavy with all the oils and everything this is the basic model short shaft there are some other ones that go near 100 pounds because it has the alternator it's got the uh, starter and fancy handles it's just the basic one so keep that in mind even those 84 pounds it can be a little heavy so the trick here is your stomach muscles make them tight because when you pick this sucker up actually I gotta put the tiller down I'm gonna lay it down on the tiller side it can be a little heavy so now you can lay it down slow, uh, smoothly don't 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 drop it too fast it'll hurt the fin so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pick it up twist it Like so. Let me show you. So right now it is right in there. And here's where my inflatable go. I put that blanket down, I put the inflatable down. And that's how I, you actually um, lay down the motor. If you have a sedan, most sedans you can put the seats down and it has a small cubby hole that goes towards the trunk. You can do this same procedure, but you have to do it like lean away because there's usually like a get like a like a piece of plastic right here and then there's the hole that goes on the back you can do it that way that'll be one way the other way would be to actually put the seats up i'm gonna show you and you can lay down so let's say you have a sedan and you cannot fold the seat down uh, the outboard may not fit on the trunk because sometimes some sedans have a small trunk if you have a big trunk that'll be easy just lay it on the trunk that should be pretty straightforward but if you don't and you have a lot of passengers you can use the back seat I'll show you Bring it, twist it, and you can lay it down. Make sure, depending on your model that you have, for example, this one can only be laid down on the tiller side. That is very important. Make sure you find out which side you're supposed to lay down, because you don't want the engine to get filled with oil and drop oil on the, on the seat. That's no good. This is how it goes. It's in there. As you can see, in a sedan situation, you can do that. And on your trunk, um, if you have a sizable uh, inflatable, it can go right here with all your gear. Gas tank can go in there. It's pretty neat. Now, to get it out of the car, let me show you uh, what I do. All right, so to get it out, it should be pretty straightforward. Make sure you have a good grip. Tighten up the stomach muscles, okay? And, ah. There it goes. Yeah. And we can actually assume this is the uh, your boat. Hopefully you have it near you. I can make a mess of it. If you have your boat near you, let's say this is the transom. Go ahead and lay it in there. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I think I broke a little sweat doing that. <laughs> I mean, it is not the heaviest motor, but it's not the lightest. So you gotta manage the weight properly. Make sure you tighten up the stomach. That's very important. That'll make sure you don't hurt your back while, you know, dealing with that motor. Because it's manageable, but you got to take some precautions. So, anyway, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for the fellow of you who suggested this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.